decided that instead of just uh, connecting to paired devices, we're going to look up for new devices. And if they are paired, we'll just put a wee check mark next to them or something. Uh, you'll see what I mean in a sec. But we're going to have to go ahead and change this list adapter to something else. So we'll call it uh, paired, paired devices. We'll just make it a string of the name. Uh, now we need to set up a new array list string. We'll call it paired devices. Then we need to initialize it equals new array list. Now that's all set up, so that's just going to put a new array list of paired devices in, which is good to go. Um, in order to discover devices, we need to use something called a broadcast receiver. Uh, what a broadcast receiver is, if you don't know, is your phone sends out system-wide messages called broadcasts, and you need to filter them, and then you can do actions with these, you know, whatever they were. So, first thing we need to do is we need to create the filter. So we call this an intent filter just call it filter and we need to make a bluetooth receiver so a broadcast receiver sorry broadcast receiver receiver and in initialize we'll just set up this receiver so receiver equals new this comes straight basically uh, straight from the Bluetooth uh, portion of the Android site so if you want to copy it paste it from the site feel free to sorry I get a bit distracted typing and talking I'm not very good at it um, and we need to implement function on receive so every broadcast receiver has this function on receive why is that freaking out Try that down there. So what we want to happen on receive is we want to check for a string. So string action equals tent dot get action, and then we want to check if Bluetooth device dot action found equals action so if it equals that string action we want to do something with it and that something will be to add it to our list So I'll just write this out and then and then I'll go through and explain it. <coughs> um, so list adapter dot add device dot get name plus new line plus device dot get address. So what we've done here is, once we receive that uh, broadcast that we've filtered out using, where have we set up that filter? Did we set up the filter? No, I don't think we did. So, filter... No, we definitely did. Action underscore found. Oh, maybe we didn't. So, filter equals new intent filter Bluetooth device dot action. I remember doing this. 
Oh, maybe that's what I'm talking about there. So we're filtering just this um, filter here. So once we've set up the filter and we got all that ready, we need to register the receiver. So register receiver. So we put in the broadcast receiver's name and the filter's name. I know what I'm saying here is a bit broken. I can't really concentrate when I'm typing and talking. Sorry about that. <laughs> Now, where are we? Right, so when we find a device, it'll add it to this array list, and yeah, Bob's your uncle. But what I want to do next is um, after we've finished discovering, I want to update that list and check that, you know, if there are any paired devices. So we need to get another intent filter here. intent filter and we'll just call it a filter again because we've already registered the receiver for the filter and we'll call it new intent filter and this one we want to call uh, we want to filter floor action discovery started okay oh sorry that's not device we want adapter so action discovery started and we want to re register the receiver again and just copy this couple of times paste it and we'll just do the receiver for a couple other things as well. So this will register the receiver, the same receiver for for um oh fuck, what am I talking about? It'll register the receiver for these intents as well.